Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We are the Paradox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a realistic render from your closest animation. Let's start. Okay, as you can see, we have a character here that the clothes are animated. As you can see, the animated play with the real time and play the animation. As you can see, we have animation here. All right. We have a 217 frame here and I'm gonna create a render from it. Let's go. Okay. All right. Before everything, you must check the UVs. The closes must have a UV. As you can see, I create a UDIM unwrap from my files and it's a two texture set we have here. Okay. After make sure that we gonna create a material for it. Uh, I select the files and export. Export selected OBJ. And this zero one is the name. Yes. Okay. In export setting, we have to. Uh, check thickness here and the centimeter scale Okay, press OK button and we will wait to export In substance painter as you can see I create a material for my clothes in two texture set here Now it's time to export my textures I go to file and export textures in export setting uh, the output file I want to go to my files okay okay the temple I gonna use the Arnold renderer you can use anything you want uh, the file type I use EXR for better quality and size is 4k okay next export we will wait to export the textures after finishing the exporting i go to marvelous designer in uh, i want to export my animation here by alembic uh, i go to file and export alembic in the export setting i want to use thickness if you don't want to have a thickness, you can check the thick. Uh, and I want to have a UV coordinate. I and I don't want to have a tar avatar shape. And the frame per second is 30. Okay, the scale is centimeter. Uh, all right, it's okay. You'll wait to export my animation by Alembic. All right, my export is done. Now we have uh, the Alembic file. I go to Maya and open my Alembic file here. Now you can see the FPS should be 30. Okay, we have a 217 frame. Here. All right. Before to going to Marmoset tool bag, we should uh, separate each of the UVs we have because the Marmoset tool bag doesn't support uh, UDIM tile. Uh, before that, uh, I'm gonna import my avatar. All right, it's okay. My avatar and my clothes are in the scene, as you can see. Okay, as I say, we should separate each of the UVs. The best way is to delete. The other UD, other UD instead, 
uh, we go to UV using UV editor and for that I go to the UV shell and select this part okay and press delete okay alright now I can go to the object mode and export this alembic go to the cache and alembic cache go to the export selection to alembic into export selection I go to my folders here name 02 go alright the time slider and we have checked these options UV write and UV and write visibility uh, write UV sets other thing is not very important to, to us and export we will wait to export our animation Alright, the first UV set is exported. Now it's time to second UV set. I go to go back with Ctrl Z. Alright. I'm going to select this part and delete it. very well now we should to export this part as alembic 2 we selected and go to cache alembic cache and export selected as alembic the name is 03 and the setting is ok and export selection we will wait to export this part Alright, the second UV is exported. Now the last thing we should do, we should export the character with the alembic cache. 0, 4 and the setting is the same. Export. Okay, the exporting is done. We go to Marvel Set Tool Bag, and here we uh, import our files 0, 2, 3, and 4. Alright. In the timeline, we have the animation here moving. Alright. We have 217 frames. I go to create a material for this, close this first one and the second one. In the material setting I go to surface normal map, I import a normal map that I exported from Substance Painter. And in albedo map, I import the base color. The color space is not correct. Uh, you should uncheck the sRGB color space for XR files. Now it's the correct. All right. In the microsurface. I, up, I import my roughness map
and the last one is a uh, metalness for reflectivity. That's good. Right. Okay, for the second material, we do the same process for the previous lip material. Uh, I import the normal map. I import the albedo map as the base color and the roughness map and metalness map. That's good. We go to the renderer and check this use ray tracing and testing the lighting. All right, it's good. We should have a ground for it. Uh, it doesn't have ground. I go back to Maya and uh, create a... I create a plane. Check the UV editor. It's, it's good. Okay, I export this as OBJ file. Zero two. All right. I go to monster tool bag and import uh, zero two OBJ. Okay. Okay. I want to get the transparency for ground. Uh, for that, I create this map. As you can see, I create this in Photoshop and. In this material of this ground, I go to uh, transparency and detail. Uncheck this option and go to the this file, okay. And this channel go to the R, as you can see. This is a transparency of the edge. I want to some bigger than. All right, that's good. I want to get some light in my scenes. Before that, for that I create the light spotlight here. All right. Press W to transfer it. Transfer that. Press E to re rotate it. In the light setting, we have uh, increased or enhanced uh, brightness. I want to a little increase it. Okay, I want to increase the spot angle. Okay, that's good. Rotate it a little bit. Okay, I go to render and use render retracing. It's good. Okay, I like it. The last thing is that I want to rotate my character with the animation. For create that, I go to... Uh, I want to this, select these files and Ctrl G to group it. And go to keyframe and select the group into transform. I want to go to rotation Y. Okay, for create uh, rotation, I want to create a keyframe here. Click here to get the keyframe in 
frame one and go to the last frame and create uh, another keyframe. I want to this keyframe is the this is the angle here. Uh, if I increase this, you can see the character is re, is rotation. It's 316. Okay. I, I zoom it. Okay, I set this on 316. I get back. Okay. In this chart, I want to have a, a straight line. Uh, for that, I I select my keyframe and go to this. And now we have a straight line here. As you can see, the animation. Is rotation. That's great. Okay, it's now it's time to render our animation. I go to render and use ray tracing. In the video output, I select my folders and the name. Okay, the format you can use a MP MPEG4 and. Uh, anything you want, I used JPEG uh, for better quality for the compression quality is good for samples, if we increase the sample, the time of render is increased uh, I want to use 128 for this render uh, you can use anything you want and Anything is good and save the scene. Now you can render the video. Alright guys, the animation is done and as you can see the each frame render is here now we should uh, put them in the After Effect to get the video I open the After Effect here and new project I want to open the frame 1 we wait to import now we can import them to the this is slider. All right, that's good. Now go to composition and go to add the new render. I set the location here and render. All right, it's done. I go to folder and open the video. That's very cool. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, bye.